Hi guys, I feel in. I'm, I'm ready for some nostalgia. Let's be on ourselves here. On Belnet, this is the Belnet source, right? It's a copy of uh, Seed Host. There are ISOs in here from years back. I've been counting September 2021, Arcalinks will exist for four years. The project is four years old by then. And although my initial ISOs when I was at Arch Labs, I still feel quite proud of those like R2D2, that was the name. We had these, these nicknames or these um, cozy names, Star Wars names. And yeah, we felt connected, you know. This thing is from 1812 so I guess it's 2018 yeah 21 2019 so 2018 12 and I wondered what would happen if I would try to install this now things will not work but even so can we play with these Lego blocks can we have some fun and maybe teach some stuff because that's what I like to do. Teach. All right, so that's coming in. Virtual box. You know, this machine is loaded with virtual boxes, as in loaded. So, clone a template, old Arcolex. There you go. So, that's an empty file here. Optical drive, choose a disk file, go to downloads, downloads, clone Zilla, no Arcalex. Okay, 2018 12. So that's one, two, two year and a half ago. Okay, let's move it over here. This is how it booted up. Correct, huh? 2018, 19, 20, 21. Two years and a half. So the packages, that's that's what an ISO is, right? Is a frozen moment in time. The kernel of back then, the packages of back then with all the issues it had back then. Can we still update? That's a question, a what if, and let's explore it together. No mouse yet. Oh, there it is. We've got ignition. <laughs> so what you see is what you get, right? So we got these Sardi Mono icons. And I don't think much of the packages have changed. HP is gone. That's true. Pseudo Pacman minus S HP lip with a P from Patrick. Patrick Swayze, yeah. You've got it back. This is a little bit different, right? So it's a good thing to see that Calamaris evolves. Like considerably every single month. It improves. So yeah, we could think it back then, but it's slowing things down, so never mind. But I can't set how big this is. We can do that now file systems and so on there's so much more now than there was two years and a half ago but nevertheless we had our operating system right it was free it was installed we had fun so the unsquash file system i think we need to go again i think we need to go again yes stop again why do I think this? I'm gonna reboot, I like really right control R, reset. Reason being, I think back then we went to the internet. If Calamara thinks it can go to the internet, it will find keys that are different 
from back then. So Calamaris will just give an error because of the packages that it says, hey, what's this? Don't know that key. So I think best thing for me to avoid that is say, well, cancel first off and then go for a disconnect. So when I start Calamaris, question is, how do I start Calamaris? Okay, installer, install system. That's gonna be it. The system is not connected to the internet. So that's good news. I don't want it to be connected to the internet because the repositories have changed as well. Where are the, st where's the stuff? It changed. So we really need to be careful if we want to see it through. If I can get it to install, then maybe we can have some fun. All right. So an overview, accessories, Atom is here, Catfish is here, HP lib, remember that word. So if you have an HP printer, Mm, good chances are if you install it, your HP printer will just work out of the box. Plank is there, you know, the little tool here, Pfft, awesome. You can set it anywhere you like, the top, the left, etc. It's all there, it's possible. 80 themes, all lovely. And some of them have been created by me. Thames was a beautiful little thing. Thames is this. You failed to, to fetch data. Why? Uh, internet is down. So it gave the weather of Berlin, I think, standard. But yeah, you know, these things, other priorities, people have another job or they get divorced or a new work. And so discontinue the project. These are the elements, graphics, Inkscape Peak all quite recognizable what we have now. We have now Qubit Torrent, transmission used to be there. Praga can be dead beef, can be VLC, I mean, whatever there are. Literally, if you see the, the page now in Calamaris, it's like 30 audio video tools. So there's so much out there. You choose the ones you like. Oh yeah, we did have evolution back then. There's also Geary, I think it's called. Also good. Well, there's so many. Again, choose. USB Image Writer has been always there. It's Mint Stick, guys. It's coming from Linux Mint. Again, the message in this video. Stop thinking in boxes. People want to try to put you in a box, an Ubuntu box, and a Red Hat box, and so on. It's Linux. And this thing comes from Linux Mint. And yes, it works on Arch Linux. And yes, it works on Arch Linux. So that's what I like about tools like VLC. It works on Linux, it works on Mac, it works on Windows. I learn it once and I can apply the knowledge everywhere. Those are the applications I will defend and I will suggest to people. Your XVT was here as well. Ta da! Oh, oh. Look at that. And a right mouse click. Oops, there is no terminal here. And then Thonar, right mouse click, terminal. So this is Termite. And that is monospace 12. Both are nice. Back in the days, we did not have the possibility to show something is moving. And we always had people saying, hey, it's crashed. It's not moving anymore because it jumped like very slowly from 25 to 26. And even if you saw this jump, you almost didn't see it move here. So people were scared that everything froze up or something like that. And we had to say, hey, just wait, just wait. You'll see, you'll see it will install. So all these things have been changed and it's, it's the, the great cooperation cooperation not corporation but cooperation working together with calamars giving our ideas giving feedback and as a result of course calamars get gets better the product as such 
with all the developers and the distributions who use Calamars provide tips and what ifs and, and what if we do this and couldn't we do that and things improve over the years and that's great yes we didn't go to the internet that's cool so hopefully we can install and what you see is what you get so restart now done let's play with this playbox here so boot existing os a normal grub oh, yeah, no no colors yet no colors right through the vimix look and we have a beautiful system all working and maybe well we made a major change this year is by telling well leaving alone the open box xfc i3 combo and say okay we give you xfce and inside calamars you click on open box you click on i3 and if you got the internet it's on there if you don't have internet you take the Arclinx tweak tool again a click and a click and you've got our learning path first try to work with xfc you like it why not try open box you like it why not the tiling winner manager and that's for the most people a giant leap coming from a desktop and something in between and then a tiling winner manager so that was um, one of our um, well that was the idea arch merge that's the first name right to let's merge arch links together with xfc open box i3 and then the project grew Arclinux D, Arclinux B, and it, it had to have a different name because we were not merging anymore. We were developing, well, 10 desktops and now we have 22 desktops, right? It's, it keeps on growing. Now, let's play. So, is update still an alias? Lots of aliases back then as well, but not that much, right? Every single time you get more and more. Here it says Pac-Man, etc. Now we are going to get errors, there is no way around it. Synchronizing package databases, I'm curious. Okay, <laughs> Control C. Do we have something for mirrors? Yes, we have already mirror, mirror A, mirror D, mirror list. Okay, so mirror. Let's have a look what happens if I send the command mirror, a reflector comes in action, it's going to raid all these servers which have nothing to do with Arcanlex and everything to do with Archlinux. Arcanlex is 95% Arch. Arch, Arch. Let's update again. All right, so that's normal. Why is that normal? 1035 available packages. Signature from Eric Dubois is unknown trust. That's true. I am not to be trusted. So, alias. Do we have N Pacman? Not yet. So we want to go to a terminal. Let's open another one if I can. Okay, never mind. Nano etc. Pacman T and then no 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 dot conf that one first oh I need to be pseudo and that's why we have these aliases this is too much to type we type n pacman that's it and that's this line we go down we go down we go down this is already gonna gonna give a problem load total download we saw we saw the message earlier on so we can fix that already um, we definitely need to get a new pacman so this is out that 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 is out this was a repo for wallpapers when we were one year old we gave you a gift lots of wallpapers from the designer uh, submicron Control X, yes, update. And then there is no Arclinux anymore. There is just Arch. So the Arch machine will get an update. 
I'm reading some things and deciding whether I take yes or no, but a capital yes means with an enter. So I can keep pressing enter and agree to the name changes until we are through. But do read what it sends you. So we still know what to do. I need to remove something. Mm, this is a guess. Let's do a yes. Yeah, I think so too. And then we go for minstick problems. Okay. Okay. Fine. No problem there. So there are problems with minus remove. Article X OB logout does not exist anymore. That's out. And then we have DMX prototype. That's not from us. And now for minstick. We can remove minstick as well. And install it later on. Oh, min, min stick git. Actually, yeah, too late. RS would have been maybe better, okay? But um, we have now this here. Installing XORG proto breaks dependency DMX proto required by libdmx. Stuff like that. That's gonna be a problem. Let's see what happens. We'll have to do something there. So it's a yes, 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 yes. Now we know already, yes, 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 yes. And here we have a yes, yes. And we still have these two. Okay, pseudo pacman minus remove. DD, this is gonna break things, a DD. So look it up what it means. It really, really means get rid of it. Breaks dependency DMX proto. X org proto required by lib D, lib DMX. Let's try lib. DMX is gone and lip XX DGA has gone as well. Normally I would say write everything down and so you later still know what you do, but it's just for showbox. And that's a bit too quick in the S's. So here somewhere we are going to say yes. Yes, and there we go. Then we update. Packages, the computer system. What does it do? What does, what needs be done for Pacman? What needs to be done for Pacman is give him a good pacman.conf, cool, github.com slash alkalinux. Every ISO out there, well, Arch ISO out there, has a pacman.conf. I usually take this website. This is the official flagship. People sometimes ask, where is the pacman.conf? Here it is. Control A, Control C. Pacman needs a good configuration. Okay. Enter. Cancel, Control A, delete, Control V, save. What have we been done? Uh, what have we done now? We are already ready for version six. That's important. Parallel downloads, and we are also ready for the repos. The repos are up here, so the Arcolinux repository is in. Not right now. No, everything continues. Good. Otherwise, I had to do Control Z, so I leave it open. And I can always go back and get the old configuration again. So that's one thing I need. The other thing I need are keys. <laughs> ah, the keys of Archlex, right? 
sudo pacman minus s arch linux. Okay, pacman minus s y. We've done that already. Okay, now it's in there. Ah, <sighs> told you too soon. Control Z, Control Z, save. Right? We can always go back with Control Y. Um, how do you say that in English? Okay. So, again, Articlinux is out. We need to get the keys in. So, Pacman minus S, Arch Linux keyring. There they are. Could not be looked up remotely. Failed to commit transactions. Ah. Trouble. Trouble in paradise. Required key missing from keyring. So we need this key. Control Shift C. Pseudo Pacman key. Receive that key. Problem in paradise again. A remote key not fetched correctly from the key server. We need to get the keys in. Okay, file system, etc, pacman.d, in here, gnupg, gpg.conf. There is no key server. I go to my own system, so the host, I look for the same folder and the same file, gpg.conf. These are the servers we need. I, I suppose I've been playing around with these settings. Normally it's just like this. But key servers at the moment are particularly not working. But we can give it a try. It has been a few days since I've tried it. So maybe, maybe it's just maybe the key servers are working again. Okay. And then we type sudo pacman key help uh, what was the command again to add the key server so r is receive keys uh, refresh key in a lot here key server okay so key server uh then oh let's take this one I've seen people reach out to Ubuntu key servers as well. Let's see if we can find it. Arch Linux key server Ubuntu. Let's see if we find something. 2012, not a good idea. Last month. Key server Ubuntu. Control find Ubuntu this guy control c and that guy control shift v still not okay failed to look up key by or did i ah, yeah. okay cool my mistake copied too much you see keys server keys server and another key server so a little bit too much not good. <sighs> Key servers problems. All right. Is there an alternative? I can't get to the key servers. That's a bad time to have my what if. Okay. I need to get the key of that guy in. Let's see. Key server on much Linux. Here's another key server. People used. Yeah, not now. Thank you very much. This key server. 
So I just need this bit. Control C. Let's try this again. Ah, it took a little bit longer, but no, no solution. 67 comments. Ubuntu key server works for me. It says this works for him. Let's hope it works for us. Let's hope it works for us. Nope. That's something, all right. No valid open PGP data found. That's something new. Let's give this another go. If we get, if we put it here. This is in my virtual machine, right? I can't leave my screen. No, that's in my virtual machine. Let's see if it works. No, invalid line option. I ah, yeah, key server. <laughs> I forgot the word. Key server, save. Now he knows. And there is something about the no valid open PGP data found. I get I get an expired certificate. That's the problem. I thought I read this somewhere. There's a problem with the certificates on the servers. On the key server. And never OS keys are corrupt. Not so smiley. Let's see at this one. Advanced. Add exception. Confirm. And there we are. All right. This service is deprecated. This means it's no longer maintained. New HQPS certificates will not be issued. Service library should not be expected. Oh my God. 21. So. Seven days ago. At all. Yeah. I guess we better put in the Ubuntu thing, but didn't work for me either. Here are some more. Okay. Oh, I can show you a little trick then. A little trick for you guys. I have a mouse, left and right button. I have a keyboard to the left there, shift and control. I press shift and I keep pressing shift. Right mouse control, I draw a line and I type key server. Done typing, safe. All in one go. Invalid option. Okay, got it. <laughs> this one needs to go. Invalid option. Why are all these invalid options? Remote key not fetched correctly from keys. 
really, Eric. Control H and then key server. And then replace all and in the backend here as well. Like this. Typos. So much fun always. It went to Ubuntu. Okay, Ubuntu doesn't work. Safe. Doesn't work. Hey, why are you still looking at Ubuntu, my friend? Ah, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, sorry. Oh my God, I've been doing it all the time. I need to do it like this, of course. Otherwise it can't apply these lines. Oh my God. But to no avail, don't work either. This is tyrus. Going straight for the last one. That doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> there should be no harsh news feed. I thought exactly the same thing. Why is Arch Linux not communicating about this? Or did I miss something? Old password hashes, move around. Nope. Six oh, already May. No, they're not communicating about this, and that's and keys are the most important thing ever on Arch. Solutions, solutions. The same goes for key server Ubuntu, Manjaro. Japanese. Is there no other way to get that key in? Where is this Ubuntu thing? Key server Ubuntu. found yeah then that doesn't help us either right hockey puck oh my god hockey puck waiting for pgp mid they say it down there. I'm willing to wait as long as I get something. Mm. Thought as much. Surfnet.nl. I guess that's the number. No. Nope. Not gonna start with that. Ah bon? So that looks promising. Can I use this 
Control C for this SKE server. <sighs> yeah. HQPS 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 Oh yeah 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 important the ports the ports the ports save I need to navigate via ports and that may be, be the reason why it's not working here either. I always use different ports. There is also the other one, which is 443. 443, save. Okay. Fetch me the thing. Uh huh. Allez, one more 371. One one three seven one safe. Okay, go up HTTPS. Okay, let's do another one. HQPS. Okay, let's do it. Doesn't want to do with him. He's not complying. Comply you. It's just not communicating with the server. Although it's there, I can get the fingerprint to use keys open gpg.org. What am I typing wrong then? Keys open pgp.org 443 hkps. There is also the s that I can delete. Save. I would think number 80 is always going to be open. Port 80 is for the, the websites, the surfing. Key server receive failed. So I can't get to him. Let's try something else. Control H. There is GNU PG. GPG, what was it again? Help. So I can receive, I suppose, or recipient, no, local sign, list keys, detach keys, sign keys. How do we get it in again? List keys. Delete keys, sign keys, receive keys. Okay, so it's a long, not a minus R thingy. GPG, receive keys. And the key we want is this one, Control Shift C, Control Shift V. And we get the server problems, right? Now, if we take this line, control C, and create the same document here, gpg.conf, and we tell it to have this, okay, god damn it, it's in, total num processed, I've got my key in, so gpg, local sign or something I'll sign key this six and so on ah what did I do ah what did I do gpg local sign key where is the key there is the key control shift c control shift v signing the key not found no public key huh
Alright, let's do that again. Okay, here it is. Okay, GPG list the keys. Key or keys? List key is nothing, list keys is nothing. <laughs> there are no keys in. What does this mean then? Total no more process, no user ID. There is a key. It's not received. If it was received, I could do a local sign of that key. Not found, no public key. And it's going to here. S save. Now it says something else. HTTPS save. Then it doesn't work. Control Z, Control Z, save. Now nothing works anymore. A fluke. Was it a fluke? 443. stuck at keys. Can we say stop looking at keys? If we update, ooh, if we update our system, that's where everything started, I guess, right? Update. Yes, 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 yes. 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 And it's this, whoa, there are lots, there are more keys. And then I said pseudo pacman minus s arch Linux keyring. And I got this. And then I wanted to look it up. Okay. What if we say to the system, forget about keys, can we do that? Maybe we better not, but can we do that? I saw somewhere we can. Arch Linux keys. Package signing. Unknown trust. Setting temporary level, sing, sig level to trust all. Not recommended. Hey, but we're getting tired, so why not? Why the hell not? Can we add this here? I wonder if we'll take it. So another what if? And this by wasting your life like this that you learn. Joke, of course. We're not wasting, we're having fun. But yeah, we're wasting our life. Okay, if I do an update. All right. No errors. He likes what I do. No, he doesn't like it. So SIG level is trust all. Assign level. Or is that somewhere else?
Here's another one. No. It's, oh yeah, there is another one here. I don't think it will help, but I'm gonna try anyway. Too fast. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Up here. Safe. Oh my god. I am so curious to no, know if this will work. Do -do -do -do. Da -da 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 -da. Puppies power. All right. Another thing. Another what if. What if? Arch Linux Archive. Two years and a half is a long time. Two years and a half is a long time. Repos, two years and a half. 2019, let's take 2020. Somewhere, good luck, the 4th of April. Now, nah, let's take the 1st of April. 1st of April, and then, ooh, the keyring, where would that be? Ah, repos, that's OS. Uh, okay. Arch, 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 arch. Linux gearing, we have luck. Oh, I save that file. I take a look at that file. Ah, yeah. We made the change between XZ and ZST. It doesn't get it yet. What sudo pacman minus u actually gearing means. Oh, it does. Oh, it does. Super. I thought that would be again another struggle to make it understand what ZST is. I have got keys in. I don't know if I have got the necessary keys in, but I've got keys in. <laughs> Good luck. We definitely gonna need that. Less keys, <laughs> less key problems. Okay, I need more keys. Um, 2000, let's take 2021 or something like that. That's too recent, eh? 2020 and uh, 2019. Um, pop, pop, pop. What ISO were we using? Eighteen twelve, so nineteen, so mid nineteen or something. Oops, two thousand nineteen. Let's take again April the first on the core in the US. Any six sixty four. We're gonna use the key ring. Hopefully we have less. Here it is. X set. Okay, save, do, fine, download, check, and that one we had. Okay, let it be, so I still know. Oh, pseudo pacman minus u arch what? 19. All right, so more keys. Update. Yes, 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 yes. We shouldn't be doing this if, if the key server is all working. We shouldn't be doing this. Now we still have these guys. So we have done 2019-0401. We've done 2020-0401. Let's do 2021-0401, hoping that April's Fool's Day is gonna be our savior. Two 
2021. Oh, 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 oh. 21. Okay. Oh, wait a moment. Checking keys in keyring. We just passed it. Incredible. We just passed it. Oh my god. I could burst and I'm out in tears. I could, I could, but I'm not gonna. So, now we can go on, right? Oh my god. Pacman.conf needs to change. We got that, right? We only need to go for a control Y, Y, Y. Oops, no, I don't think we need to. <laughs> we need to copy paste it again. So this is, needs to be there. I need to copy paste later on. Then we need our keys. We have also keys. Yeah, the keys of Arsenix. So at github.com and think yeah it's cool it's cool but I prefer actually to go to seat host and then Arcolex data center we go to we're actually at Belnet you see there is a repository and in the repository there is an Arco Linux keyring uh, at some point in time we changed the keyring now everything goes gradually you don't you don't know it as an end user you don't but we know So we have our Arcolinux keyring that needs to come in as well. Sudo Pacman. I'm not going to be able to do that because, yes, you know it. There can be only one Pacman. Think about the Highlander. If you don't know what it is, look it up. What is the Highlander? And um, we can already set this ready. So this is the pacman.conf from Arcolinux. Control A, Control C. Let's not save it yet. Control A, Control V not saved so this one can go and that one can go close without saving this needs to go ah problems problems what did he say i have failed to commit some conflicting files ah yeah that's the ilm base thingy owned by ilm base well ilm base is out whatever it is i don't know what it is it's out. You are so out. Uh, yeah. Cool. Open Exer. Oh my god, it comes worse. Then we just do not RS. What? Why am I typing SS? I wanted to type TT, of course. TT. Okay, cool. And then, yeah, update just update. Yes, 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 yes. Now hold back. And here, yes. And here, yes. This this line is wonderful, right? Checking keys and keyring. Whew. We've spent I don't know how many times, how many minutes here? Already 54. <laughs> like th certainly 30 minutes figuring out key rings just by good luck, 1st of April from every year, 2019, 2020, 2021, bingo. Pacman now has all the signed keys. You don't know what I'm talking about, Arch Linux key rings and, and read. Arch Linux key rings, package signing. Underneath the always interesting things here. If you wanna learn more about signing and all that, Read it all. Read it all. Awesome, it's upgrading. Up, oh, another key. The latest keys come in. Two year and a half. But this is pure arch. 
nothing Arconlex related, but we are ready. We are ready to install the Arconlex keys. We are ready to have the pacman.conf. Ah, we forgot something. We forgot something. We also need the mirror list of Arconlex. So actually, we could get that here as well. From here, no. Where is Arconlex? From here. Arconlex mirror list. The mirror list, where are the packages? Pacman needs to know two things, three things. A configuration file of Pacman, duh, right? Where are the packages, the mirrors, and the keys? And then you're good to go. So we need to have the Arconlex mirror list, Arconlex keyring, and the Pacman configuration. It's all here, and there we go again. Now we have something else. Hooks. But it's an error. It is strange that we stop here with two. Fine. We're gonna go ahead already to change. No. To first install what we downloaded. Make it understand. Ooh, nice logo. Make it understand sudo pacman minus u. Here is the Arconix mirror list for you. So you know where the packages are. And the key, sudo pacman minus u, Arconix key rings. Okay. Whoa, look at that. Now we do a scale. Yep, that existed already. And now a sudo reboot that does not exist yet. Sudo reboot, fail to talk to initializing demon. Cool, my friend, just restart. No problem, I have no problem closing tabs. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> Reboot. All right, what happened? Restart, restart. Fine. Control R, right? Control R, reset. Boot existing OS. Damn, we got a problem. Houston, we have a problem. So, what we didn't do is an update grub. If you don't do an update grub, ah, yeah. I think that, that we had in, indeed an error. Remember I said two lines? Now there is no Linux kernel present. There is no Linux kernel present. This won't help either. None of it will. None of it will. Can we recuperate anything? Can we do anything? Can go in arch root and all that. Uh, so that means control R and we boot, so to speak, with the DVD or the USB. Then we mount our partition again. There were these errors, but let's update again and see what we get. Huh? Let's go and get me some knowledge again. Arconex Arch Shroot Duck the go give me the Arch Root. Use the power of Arch Root. This is what we need to do. I load my keys for Azerte and mount the device somewhere. Mount maybe EF5, but I guess it's gonna be crop, so it's not necessary. And then we go in there. Okay, cool. Got it again. Cancel. Yes. I need to go to a terminal. And let's block. This is what I have, SDA1. So SDA2 is the swap. The other one is the, all right, cool. Set keyboards to, uh, that's for me. That's going for Azerto. Azerti. 
Then we're gonna mount. Do I need to do sudo? Well, so no device SDA2 and you mount it, for instance, in the folder mount. Only root can do that. So we say sudo mount. Unknown file system type swap. Of course, Eric, of course. Um, one SDA1. It's getting late. Voila, we've done that. And then we arch root inside it in that particular thing. <sighs> Please become root. Voila. So now we're in the system that we just installed. We did an update back then and there were issues. He says he's fully up to date. I'm not sure of that. I'm gonna install the Linux kernel. Ah, oh, that looks good. But the boot folder is empty. Let's maybe go check that. Could not connect, no such file, that's no problem. CD boot uh, um, T, voila, ls. There is something inside, but nevertheless, sudo make init cpio minus p. I have free type minus big p. I'll get this. I think that was already in order. Then was it then the grub that needed to be? Oh, did this exist already? Yeah, that alias existed already. And now I do an exit. Well, basically, yeah, nice, nice exit. And then Control R again to reboot. Virtual machine read. Really don't care. And now we have this. Apply kernel variables, whatever. But I'm back in business. So I've shown you also an arch root. The, the power to fix any computer, the power of arch root when your computer crashes. Right? It's um, it will apply to anything arch related. Well, wallpaper is nice, is not nice, I mean of course. If write is not working for some reason, quit it. It takes well, it used to take up to 30-60 seconds until it was gone. Now it's faster to stop, but nevertheless, sometimes you have to wait a little bit longer and then it works again. And now Ctrl Alt T, that's working. Update is now everything up to date. Yes. Then we type sublime text. Yeah, the icons are strange. We are gonna save this. This is not saved. You see it's still up here. That's what I like about Sublime Text and I don't like it. Like it. It's both of them, right? It still knows my changes. I rebooted them all and it still knows my changes. But this thing should be in red. <laughs> it's not saved yet. Control S. Now it is saved. When I do down this, we've got Arcanlex repos and there we go. All the changes of Arcanlex. Oh, sorry, Arcanlex name changes and all that that's not from us python 2 gp object 2 name changes okay these two are in conflicts no problem one of them needs to go Arco Linux. it's the open box b that should go Arco Linux open box b Alright, wait. Which one is now installed? Arcolex, open box. Ah, git needs to go. Okay. Alright, so it's this guy that needs to go. Hey? Yeah. Doesn't find it, he says. Ah, Arcolinux, open box configs. Okay, this one. Okay. Eh. Enter, 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 enter. Yes. Phew. Ah, there we go again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. OK, 
Okay, no problem. One of the two packages have to go. Uh, you have to choose which one will I delete since the one is about plasma and this is no plasma. It makes sense that the local Arconix local What's this? Local git needs to go. Okay. And off it goes again. Installing stuff. Frustrated. File conflicts. Remove Arco Linux. There is nothing about local things. It exists in both things. It wants to install both things. Will it do something for my system? And if I went to favorites, oh, it's not there. Thunar. If I went to Thunar, it's not working Thunar. I need to update everything. It exists both in this one and that one. Ah, finally, response. This scale, the local share, this thing is the problem. That was not my password. That's the problem. Two packages and it doesn't find it. Pseudo Pacman minus S Y. And I want to remove it. He says I have just logo to remove. <laughs> That's not important, but where's the Arcanlux local applications git then? Pseudo I have an idea. Pseudo Pacman Pacman minus remove a uh, minus S Arcanlux local applications git I install it to remove it does that make sense I install it to remove it and the same maybe that's already okay if one of them is gone to do it for the other one as well. Plasma height. It's now gone. It has to do with the local application, I think, there. This line. Arcanonix local applications git up here this one is making me turn around and around and around 18121 apps git oh whoa, whoa, remove applications kit that needs to go. Yeah, you see, even me, I'm struggling at finding whatever. It's messing with this thing, right? Ah, found it. Now, lots of these things will go to scale. It's okay, it's fine. We'll figure it out. The Saudi icons will look better. They start to look get better already. The new Saudi package is in. And installed. 
So we've got ourselves a up all maybe, doesn't exist. Update is done. A PKSYUA. Aha. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, come stop, stop, stop. So these are the packages that are coming from the AUR. In the meantime, uh, we're not using these guys anymore. Yep, true, true. It's all true. We have PAMIC all now. And all these things are all things that we're not using. So if I wanted to do any of these things, I have to remove and start typing AOR vote git and breeze cursor LH and font manager. I believe we have, we have the git version now. I3 gaps. We've we've stopped with using the gaps next. So that's nostalgia, right? Choices. I always keep telling people. A distro is about choices. And every single time you make small decisions, lip glade, fine, and then lip the magic six breaks and then pi gt. Okay, uh, let's slap key, let's keep it for later. And that's also that one umox no problem for that and panic a war that's gonna be okay well we don't want it to build little pacman minus s uh, minus remove x org font utils Required by race dependencies. Okay. Vivaldi, that's something straightforward. You're out. And the other one is in. This one is for YouTube and this one is for Netflix. Voila, we got that. And then PKSYOA, Control C, stop it in time. I believe these two guys, three guys can, well, let's do it like this. So, you know, Pacman minus R Mozilla common. Okay, gone. We got Pacman minus R Papyrus. Papyrus gone. Single Pacman minus R QT5 style plugins gone. Now the rest. WPA action. No, oh, that's no problem. So the Pacman minus R. The X orc was a problem. Lip magic six. That's gone. So now we have PKSYUA. PKS UA and we still have eh? ah these two so these two here little button minus r x org font util and font utils It's gone. Okay, I thought I would get a message. Minus remove lip delete. Required by pi gtk. What's pi gtk? 
nothing. Nobody needs it. Voila. Wow. PKSYUA. And then the rest you're seeing, that's also interesting for tutorial sake. That's what's installed on your computer system and what's nowhere else to be found. And, well, until here. And this thing is coming from the AOR and nobody is taking care of it anymore. So orphaned, nobody is uh well maintaining it so you can take that up if you want but most of the time there's a reason why it's orphaned right flagged out of date meaning maintainer go and have a look because it doesn't work anymore it can't install it anymore so if you really want to continue and the time is one hour and 16 minutes you need to go and remove article mix or below how themes it does not exist anymore we have a nice um, Arco Linux logout. Super X gives us these nice icons and not here, right? Not yet. And then pseudo Arco Linux slim. Another way to back in the days have beautiful lock Arco Linux, Linux log themes, beautiful themes, great design i mean great um it's great to have the possibility to design and, and use your creativity for it and then the arconix xfce tuner so that was the name prior and that's the old name meaning we, it made sense to make this kind of package arconix plasma git arconix pspwm git and so on so that's actually the current name. I don't think there is a four, voila. So it's in, in the scale. So let's go for a scale. So immediately later on, you'll see that the super X is changed. If, if, so you will Pacman Lego blocks, right? Arconix, logout. We've created something, logout, git. Arconix logout themes because that's fun having themes. What is also fun is having Arconix tweak tool. Oops, git. So that's in as well. And, and immediately all the keys. So those are dependencies, Celtic keyring, Celtic mirror lists. This is what we need to, to use it. And then the tweak tool itself. 21 2021 meaning we've jumped two years and a half let's do this again a little bit less pseudo pacman minus remove gtk xfce engine you're out yay yay s52 you're out. Lip and then G lip. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. And what if we do the GTK thing? Then it's out. So the G lip can go as well. Okay. Lip unique. unique and you're out python then python zip pyqt5 done pillow python 2 pillow backman says no dependencies you can get rid of it high parted Get out. Python 2 X app. Xap. And refined. Oh yeah, back in the days we used refined. Refined. 
I wonder. Oh, I can uninstall it. We'll see. Sega Pacman minus R. We need to remember that package. We find EF, EFI. Temps is a nice little package that doesn't work anymore. Maybe we can quickly show it again. I really did like it. But now we have internet. Uh, no, we don't. Yeah, it was not maintained. It's not working anymore on this machine. With all the changes we've made in two years and a half, it won't run. All right, pseudo pacman minus R. What's that? It's newer than AOR. I have a package that's newer than AOR. Okay, let's see if I can remove it. I can, so whatever. By XF86 input keyboard. At some point in time, they started changing these names. Uh, input things from mouse. Uh, we should actually take a look what the names are now. Didn't we get rid of the set proc title thingy? I think we did. Yeah, we're done. Now the XFCE stuff. There is an XORG thing. Whoa, not remove. XORG server and all that there is the xorg yeah so is the here it is so we, we had some input things eh, that we changed we deleted it so the xorg x input is here somewhere on the keyboard uh, somewhere there i'm gonna install those isn't there an xorg apps thing or something what was it again Work app, apps, apps, I don't know. Except root, render is in there. These are all important files. Well, not reinstalling, so they were already there. Shall we try? A sudo reboot doesn't work. sudo pacman minus s out of Linux root. This contains my bash. Just making sure that next time I have a sudo reboot. Control X is this now. Sudo reboot doesn't work. But after rebooting, wow, one hour, 23 minutes. What we haven't done is all the changes we create for you guys and the targets being stay rolling. And in our folder, look at that, and everything is okay. The coloring, so this is the normal look at today. This is our look of today. There is still, what was it? This one, other HP, you, so you will pack it. GM run, we deleted it. So pseudo pacman minus R, GM run. Office is not there, evolution is not there today. Except burn, we don't want to burn anything these days. It's all USB, not on DVD. If you wanted to install it, sudo pacman minus s xf burn. Looking pretty much the same. Super X, yeah, baby. Super X is there. And like I said, we have lovely themes. I do like my handy thing. I just draw it, drew it myself. That's better, drew it myself. So this is what I like, often set this. There's also a runes, people who are Celtic in behavior, or like the Norman, Scandinavian guys, the, where is it? Runes, there it is, save settings. Super X. Ctrl Alt E, there is your tweak tool. We haven't set the I haven't installed the um, 
Pseudo Pac-Man, nice logo. Minus S, minus S, Article Linux. Oh, what's the name again? The better lock screen. Better lock screen. I think that's not gonna work. Choose a wallpaper, yeah. So we need to have the um, what the package again? Names of packages. Names of packages. It's not better because we got this done. Choosing. Let's quickly look. Choosing or change the image. So it's this one I want. Arclinks better lock screen. It is installed, Eric. It is installed. Just didn't set it. <sighs> Getting late. Getting late. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Lock screen set successfully. Okay, super X lock. Alright, so that's done. Or boot screen or grub thing. Grub thing. F12 is there. Nice. See the pacman minus S. At Linux, we do like R. Grub. Theme. Vimix. I have development. And the regular one. Okay. Fine. Is this going to work or not? Is this going to work or not? We have the Grub customizer. Yep, it's installed. Let's go check. Appearance, theme, Vimix. Save. Stop. Reboot. Restart. Wow. This has been fun. So we got this. Look, it still has memory tester. Now at the, the new grub, we have this extra line and eh? go to your firmware settings or something like that. So I wonder, an update grub, shouldn't that change the lines? So we got here the check grub disable thingy that we made a video about in my case it doesn't matter right because there is just one operating system that's, it doesn't need to look for anything else but Linux there's no Windows or other Linux here there's just one but I hope to see the next line there the line to the firmware settings I'm not sure in VMware might not do it in VMware I in, in VirtualBox not sure I'll check the videos. Well, the other virtual boxes later. So, if you really, really, really want to go for the 100% control H bin, stay rolling. We started 1812, so that's definitely here. And then you run this one, and then you run that one, and all kind of stuff here. Evaluate what to do, what not to do. Basically, it wouldn't do the effort. Well, not now in this video. Um, I would, I would do one thing. I would go to Firefox. Hey, eh? sorry. <laughs> I would go to Firefox. It's getting too late. Choose the theme. Black. Save theme. Okay. I would go to the GitHub of uh, Arc Linux and this guy get the code copy put it here delete this one open this one git clone control shift V close this one go inside what I've got Arc Linux Excel what did we change on the ISO so the pacman.conf we got that from the internet these things 
Mm, no, not necessary. These things have a look, right? What did I change in the grub? There was a change in the grub. You know there was. We got this error about the OS prober thingy. Hello. Click. I guess I better do a new window. And then we go to file system, etc. Okay, etc. Same pathways, etc. Default grub, etc. Default grub. Right. Sudo pacman minus s sublime text def forget def four. And this one needs to go by and it's working again. So it's this line, I suppose. Group safe default true. No, no. Did I not push that already online? Oh yeah, that's the, the default from what's what's there, and this is the one that's online. So the grub disable OS prober files. So control A, control C, and then control A, control V, a little bit longer. Save it on your proper machine. I've got myself the new grub, but you need to update the grub, otherwise it's never gonna change. Update grub. Okay, what else? And that's how you can check it out again, right? The mic, the make any CPIO, the Linux preset. Uh, not changed anything there. Network management, not sure, no, really. Pacman D, mirror list, uh, no. That's only for when you have a new ISO. Polkit not necessary, scale is not necessary. There is something in there, but just a bash or C. But that goes in with Arconix root. It's just there to ensure that we have our stuff. Not necessary, not necessary. Device release you all. If we type now Ctrl Alt T, we get Arch. Okay, yeah, that's not that, that bad to explain. It's interesting to explain. So if we go to etc, right mouse click, open folder as root. And then we put you here. We can say defrel, boom. And then we type ISO. And suddenly we have the ISO of version 2107.2. Fake, of course, but I know, eh? it's possible. Group is on a host name, no, not necessary. Make any CPIO, no small changes. This has changed a little bit. And I switch. Atom, stop working. Do it with this one. So this one has changed. Smaller, control A, control C, control A, control V, save. That's to find your, your systems in your network. And as a switch, of, I have to look it up again, but it says something to do with connection, network, NAS servers and all that. Mm, SEM conf, true, 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 true. We still have, right, oh. So let's do a copy here already. SEM.conf, we don't have SEM.conf, we have LightEM. Pseudo Pacman minus remove light dm and all the rest light dm no not, no more light ah yeah back in the days we still had our arc linux light dm greeter and arc linux we're not gonna maintain that just so you know that that's out light dm is deleted better get my scdm in because otherwise i don't have a greeter no display manager SDM is in, but it's not available, it's not working. Pacman, oh sorry, system, CTL, and then enable with force because there is all, already something there, there's already LightM there. And now the, the link has been created to Display Manager, go to user libsystemd system as a SDDM service. 
now themes, right? I do like my themes. So S at Linux, SDDM, and then particularly like the Materia, Materia Git. So that's installed. They say to me I need to change something. SNSDDM, and I have to type. Um, I don't want to log in, auto login, so we see the theme. So it still says live user here. So I should say Eric, of course. And then um, theme. It's gone now. I think it was Materia. Not sure it needs to be dark or something. X, yes, enter. Let's read. It needs to be called Arcolinux Materia. Okay, again, Arcolinux Materia. That's cool, but Arcolinux dash Materia. Control X, yes, save. Oops. Ah, yeah. This is also an, a thing that's interesting to, to check out. So we have an, an issue there. I don't think I can reach it like this. Sudo, let's see, config. No, I can't read it like, reach it like this. So I'm gonna become root. Unless, and where was it? I need to be nano.config. Yeah, nano and nano RC. Line 154. Line 54, one line four. This needs to go. Something about smooth. I don't see the line 154. But it's there. I know it's there somewhere. I need to delete smooth. Come on. Ooh. Control X, line 154. And what did I open? Nano.config, nano, nano, nano RC, 154. Here. <laughs> okay. Yes, I know there are mistakes, but please show me them. All right, let's get rid of you. Let's go into the file system and go to open file as root, then go to root, and then go to control H, to the config, to the nano RC, and open it like this, 154. There you go, why was it not showing? Delete it or put a hashtag in front of it. Is it saved? Now it's saved. Uh, I can go. I think I just closed a little bit too much. So that's the point, right? Always compare between one and the other. Root is still open. That's cool. Eric here, Arcanlex. We were comparing this with the other one. And we wanted to see SDM. What can we do later? Root, no, user, local, pin. We got these things. <laughs> Did they exist back then? Probably not. User, local, bin. But these will be deleted later on when we install this one. Yeah, we can use this one over here. Arclix all cores. Sudo, oh uh, sorry. Alka Linux, all cores. You have four cores, changing the make flags for four cores, done. Now it changed something in the etc make package, telling, hey guy, I have four cores, use them. That's an interesting one and all the rest is just for installation's sake. And then share, those are just icons in the default index team maybe. So this theme, the mouse we have, has changed to be Bata cursor. 
We used to have Breeze, this beautiful little thing, but the problem is conflict with packages. There are packages called Breeze, or packages called Xcursor Breeze, and users were trying to install it and got conflicts and got complaints and frustrations. So I said, look, Plasma has Breeze and all the rest has Bipata and done. All right, as idiom, we start. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see the last line. The, the other resume, no device specified for hibernation. That's a cool thing. Oh, nice, right? Whoops. I'm opening with open box, which is cool, which is not cool. In the sense, this is not the normal look. But hey, that's cool as well. Um, let's keep working. <laughs> Minus S. Do we have the open box git thingy? So I just saw something on Telegram. What to do if you want to have pack these packages like uh, configurations of open box? It's all in the cheat sheet. Go to artlinks.info, downloads, cheat sheet, type, and see, okay, let's get the way we look at, at these, these open box thingies. So that's done. Control X. We can't do oblog out, doesn't exist. True. So I'm gonna go exit. Uh, yeah, it's good. Eh? Log out. Let's see. Um, we did do a scale, but do we have sudo pacman minus s Arco Linux? No. Yes, yes. Yes and no. We have the arc themes. We need to have that. Well, we don't need to have that. There's a lot of fun with it because it's all kind of colors of arc. And there's the arc GTK theme. Is that installed? That was installed. And then there's the pseudo pacman minus r open box GTK arc themey. Hey, ah, remove. Arkit, that's the name. By the way, this is beautiful. I like this this creative mind from Pambudi. That's in as well. We've done a scale, we're sure we've done a scale by doing it again. Then we log out. We log back in. Nice. That's a normal look, right? People often get troubled with open box, designing open box, having the same look everywhere. The thing is open box is not just open box. There are also XFCE things. This is Thunar. Things of XFCE, you need to set it in the XFCE settings. So Control Alt WM. Um, I could, sorry, Control Alt M gives you the possibility to change the appearance and the icons and so on, but also then you need to change it in the other guys of open box preferences inside Alex appearance here, and there's another one here open box, the GUI configuration tool. You need to change quite a bit of things, and then yes, then you got something. Uh, uniform looking and nice looking. So control X. I was thinking about something else. Ah yeah, the error. We got a, a, ga a great error to, to, to explain something which is quite technical. I just did it the other day, so that's actually interesting. Um, let's show it again. It is very quick, so maybe you need to pause it. There's something about hibernation up here. Memory tester so okay. Look at the lines here. Error resume no device specified for hibernation. Okay. Remember that. I had to do that with my the other video that I make from one terabyte to two terabytes, right? There it's had a control shift D. Yeah, that works. 
departed. We have this. We have a partition device. Ah, what I did on my terabyte is boot up with Arcanlix XL, start exported in the live environment, delete this. So uh, with 32 gigabytes of RAM, I said, ah, I'm not gonna use, uh, gonna need a swap. So I deleted it here, it is present. It doesn't find the hibernation file, which makes me think that the computer system, file system, etc, fs tab. We open it with sublime text, of course. Then we have got this line. Okay. Unless was it ID or something? Else block can do that. Else block. And then there were switches behind it. Is he? No. There were switches behind it to have a user ID. print all device <laughs> it was not that what was it again sound what I'm looking for is is this the correct user ID is that the swap name yes or no and there are commands to find out the user ID. LS PCI LB IPC no no too many possibilities. Where are you internet? Ah control alt V keyboard shortcuts don't work so that's something to fix as well Control shift D Firefox Linux list hard disk UEID UEID or something like that mm -hmm. what command was it again yep good Block ID, damn it, damn it, damn it. Block ID. So PLK have to remember block ID. All right. Mm -hmm. Now this one against the other one. These corners, right? Nah. So two, four, B, etc. A seven and so on. That's good as well. Okay, so I've checked that this is correct. I've checked that that is correct. I do the sudo make init CPO minus P. I have not checked that that's the same thing we have. I'm pretty sure that's not gonna be a problem. Make any TPO. So this guy is that changed? This looks like the same that we have now. And then we do an update grub. And what I forgot the last time. Let's go check the file itself. Make init cpio.conf and in here put it to Perl. Perl is a nice language. Now it's just it's handy. And here we have resume. The question is 
do I need to get rid of the resume in order to not see the message a reboot is better so this error no device specified for hibernation that is strange error resume no device specified for hibernation what I did then was delete the um, resume thing sublime text and if that's wrong I like to know it from you but I said to the system it's not open anymore no then I said let's go to the etc make init cpu dot conf that's wrong init cpio dot conf there you go and resume 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 has to go where is resume resume has to go delete delete save yes uh, i still think i need to make a do that again just to be safe not sure yes yes definitely i should do this and then a big rub then the message should be gone sr it works aliases are there message gone awesome all right maybe you like to auto login again so control t and sdm that's the way to do it user eric that's simple and an update well as are and we should be able to boot into xfce that's what it's set otherwise you change to open box i3 plasma spectre spectre wm yeah um not say and we should be auto logging into xfce again now the guys who like um, the graphical approach you do a pseudo pacman minus s what is it called again yeah that's the name config editor git and now we have a package to do the same thing and we just did manually which goes much faster i think username for out login that's that ah, i really would like to ask you guys did we miss anything i mean there's so much play things lego blocks to get in to delete to change Conkeys are there working, Super C, Conkey is there. F12 was nice, that's working. We haven't looked at I3. We've seen two of them. Ah oh, yeah, remember that, that we uh, deleted the Git version of i3 maybe you recall we did that zero pacman minus s i3 i think we have the gaps thingy now standard one from march good enough log out never use a debug log don't see don't want to see you do that okay password and voila control c that's out control t control end there we go everything works f12 is there super maybe you want to change this maybe but actually i don't know about you but i like the logo of arshalix a lot and since we're 95 percent whatever unimportant but if you want to go it's gonna be here it's homework for you guys if you want to do that arcolinks release is important here it needs to know it's from arc arcolinks the lsb release thingy is somewhere in your file system homework i am it tiles now one two three it's 
some point in time there was a tip on discord from a guy i appreciate it a lot I like a lot there is something called auto tiling or something auto yeah auto tiling which is so much better i've been working on i3 for years all these one two three and i said oh that's that's not good so you you delete one so we have 50 50. i'm not sure if gonna it's gonna work now already it's all t no it's not so log out first auto tiling installed Control t Control t Control t this i like right otherwise it would be three parts one third in a horizontal way now it's one big and two small this i like so auto tiling is in pycam this is a virtual box pycam.conf is somewhere it's just not working because of the fact that it's not transparent because it's on a virtual box but that's an, a quick fix and that's done on a real machine it will work anything else i really am thinking and it is already one minute 56 sec uh, minutes one hour 56 minutes so I'll, I'll make a video of two hours that's more done enough so this is a what if it has been a what if will everything work well yes and maybe not so it's still a work in progress right i suppose at some point in time we'll look at some elements that you say hey i'm missing this or i'm missing that but it's up to date anything from a warm that's ooh, why is ah, Paru is not yet installed so we go good that we type it so you pacman minus r uh, minus s we take paru bin thing but i think by default but have a look you choose what we have it's all from us it's from our repositories you choose what you like ah yeah Pamek all is not installed so you pacman minus s Pamek all so we got that remove yes whoa <laughs> quite a bit anything else what did we do last weeks super shift d pamic tray that's this one boom there you are click and it works so that's good what else did we do these days We have Pacman version 6, sudo Pacman, Pacman, <laughs> I tell Pacman what Pacman is, so that's the last version. I'm out of ideas and we have one minute and a half to do. Anything else that could be important? Just for fun's sake, let's install BSPWM or Awesome or something like that. Awesome, well, I'm lazy, the first one. Awesome has been installed, Super X, log out. Awesome. There you go, you've got Awesome. So that's that. What else? That's your menu. Never use this, but just saying. That's the right mouse click. Problem is you can't click anymore. You need to click again to the right or an escape. So right mouse click, escape, right mouse click and somewhere again, right mouse click. But like I said, I don't use it. Ah, Rofi, Super F11, voila, Rofi is there, Rofi is there and F12 is there as well. And Super F3 is there, I suppose. Woo, that's not what I wanted. But Super F3 is, is basically Inkscape. Nice new look of Inkscape, super. I want to do Alt F3. Okay, so these are all the menus from XFCE. One hour, 59 minutes, 57, 58, 59. Two hours of video. Was interesting. 
a lot of keys issues. We fixed it by accident, maybe a little bit. 1st of April of 2019, 1st of April 2020, 21. We got there in the end. Some messages about hibernation. All in all, I hope it was educational. All right. Cheers, guys. Guys, <laughs> bye.